Now, I hope you've uh, watched the video about measuring the weight of a piece of A4 paper. And you remember we got a pretty approximate result by putting on one sheet, but we got a much more accurate result by putting on a whole ream of 500 sheets. Now, suppose we want to weigh something like this, seeds, pulses, raisins, or whatever, something that, where each one weighs much less than a gram. What can we do? Well, we can use the same technique. We put the bowl on the scales, and we zero the scales, of course, that gets rid of the tear, the weight of the container. And then we put quite a few in here, don't go too mad. Let's see what that comes to. Right, that's saying now 75 grams. Now what you need to do now, of course, is to count those. I hope it's your school holidays because that's going to take you a little while to do that. So count those very, very carefully. Write everything down as you go, remember. And then take your 75 grams or whatever your weight is on there and divide by the number of these seeds or pulses, raisins, whatever you have. And let's say, just for the sake of argument, I've got 520. I divide by 520. And that will then give me 0 0.14, or whatever your answer is, as the weight. So each of those would weigh 0 0.14 grams. It's not a lot. Now, just one thing. Uh, because this is a natural material, these are all different sizes, of course. So what you're actually calculating here is the average weight of each one. Now, look around your kitchen. See what you've got. Have a look in your mum's or dad's office, see if you can find something in there that you can weigh. Nothing dangerous, be careful of small children if you've got younger brothers or sisters. Have lots of fun doing this one.